Good evening, people. Watch them in 65. Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. That's how we're saved. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It's not about um, anything we can do. It's about what Christ has already did at the cross. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus. You admit you're a sinner in need of him. You put your faith and trust in him. You accept him as savior and you're saved you're born again justified by the blood of jesus the holy spirit will indwell in you the holy spirit will seal you until the day of redemption which means you cannot lose your salvation you are sealed the holy spirit will lead you guide you the holy spirit will change you He's your best friend. I did a video earlier today about the tribulation and people got up in arms about that, which is fine. Some of you got it, and I'm glad of that. Others, you need to actually ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes and see that we're not subject to the wrath of God. This, we're not in the tribulation. This is not the tribulation. I wouldn't be talking to you on the internet if this was a tribulation. Nor would any of you have internet if it was a tribulation. So we're not there again. Um, I'm going to give you this article from Damon Duck. It's from Rapture Ready. And it's called Unknown Drastic Changes Are Coming. So concerning the New World Order, on March 31st, Klaus Schwab, head of the World Economic Forum, said... We do not yet know the full extent and the actual changes that will happen. However, we do know the global energy systems, food systems, and supply chains will be deeply affected. Globalists don't know the uh, full impact of what they're doing, but they are planning to drastically change the world, including energy, food, and supply chains. Jesus called what they're doing you guessed it, the Great Tribulation. And the tribulation of those days that's spoken of in Matthew 24. That so many people want to relate to the rapture. It's actually talking about the tribulation. He said it will be worse than anything that has ever that has happened or ever will happen on earth. We're not there. The church is still here, so we're not in the Great Tribulation. Here's a link to uh, Schwab's statement, and I'm going to link this article in the description box, and his link will be on here, to what he said. The reader might ask, why would a loving God allow unelected evil people to impose these drastic changes upon the world? Think about what's been going on in America and the world we have thrown God out of many schools, out of many schools, out of many courts, out of the government, out of the homes, and out of churches. We have bathed our land in the blood of aborted babies. The government has been buying and selling body parts of aborted babies. The nation can't get more barbaric than that. We have elected people to lead us that say they are Christians, but they vote for abortion, the gay agenda, appoint godless judges, and refuse to punish criminals. They sell their vote to large campaign uh, contributors and ignore what is best for ordinary people. 
We have openly blasphemed God in books, movies, TV, and the media. And what we have come to regard this blasphemy as normal. Some of our schools have been teaching porn. They insist on teaching it to children in kindergarten through third grade. Still think we got a few more years left? Oh, ye of little faith. Many of our leaders are working to establish a new world order, according to the Bible, that will be headed up by a Satan worshiper, will worship any God but the God of the Bible, will establish laws that oppose traditional Judeo-Christian teachings, will persecute and kill believers, will erase borders even though God created borders to restrain world government, and will protect drug users. We can no longer believe the media. Some would rather lie than tell the truth. America has been corrupted. Worse corruption is coming and people are perishing for lack of knowledge and many won't hear, of, hear about it at the church. I've been saying that for the past few days. I'm sure I can think of more, but in answer to the question, why would a loving God allow unelected evil people to impose these drastic changes upon the world? I would ask, why not? When so many people are ignoring his word and his will. Again, the will of God is for you to get saved, to accept Christ as Savior. Here are some stories that caught my attention in the recent days. Goes on to say, number one, March 31st, I heard a commentator on TV talking about the war in Ukraine. He said there are bodies all over the street in some places and remaining people can't get out to bury them. It reminded me that the prophet Isaiah was talking about the tribulation period when he said, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by that name to take away our reproach. Isaiah 4, 1. There will be many men killed during the tribulation period that seven women will be willing to share one man so they can have children. It is interesting that this is the only verse about the tribulation period in Isaiah chapter 4. And the remaining five verses are about the millennial reign of Jesus. The major unknown changes that Swab was talking about will lead to a seven year, to seven years of chaos and trouble. Zephaniah 1.15 And that will be followed by 1,000 wonderful years of Jesus dwelling and reigning on earth, Isaiah 4, 2 through 6. Number two, on March 30th, 2022, it was reported that Israel is planning to evacuate a prison in Megiddo that officials believe was built over the third century church that could be the oldest church in the world. Prison officials have found several mosaics under the prison. And one mosaic contains the words, to the God, Jesus Christ, written in Greek. This is the third mosaic to be found in northern Israel that mentions Jesus. The mosaic is unique because it calls Jesus God. Number three, March 30th. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees said more than 4 million Ukrainians have left Ukraine. More than 10 million Ukrainians have left their homes. About 13 million Ukrainians are stranded. We are confronted with the realities of a massive humanitarian crisis that is growing by the second. Now note this concerning Jews returning to the promised land at the end of the age. On April 1st, 
It was reported that almost 8,000 Ukrainian Jews have relocated to Israel in the past five weeks and thousands more are expected. That's prophecy. Number four, and I hit on this last week. His article from last week stated March 24th, uh, Biden said the world will experience food shortages as a result of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And he said it's going to be real. And Bloomberg analysis Alexis Maxwell called it a slow moving disaster. March 29th, U.S. Senator uh, Roger Marshall said there actually is going to be famine one to two years from now. I think two years from now will be even worse. In the space of five days, two high-ranking U.S. politicians, Biden and the U.S. Senate um, Agriculture Committee, a Republican, warned that food shortages and famine are on the way, perhaps a year to two from now. View this with the, with uh, view this with the knowledge that Jesus said famine is at the beginning of birth pains, which is sorrows. Matthew twenty four eight, hyperinflation, economic collapse, and famine are one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, tribulation period. Revelation six five six is coming. The head of the World Economic Forum just said, changes are coming that will deeply affect our food system. Know this, that the writer believes a pre-tribulation period rapture is the correct view. March 1st, it was reported that Spain has passed legislation to allow Supermarkets to begin limiting the number of items a person can buy when supermarket employees suspect panic buying is in process. April 3rd, Russia threatened to stop selling food, wheat, etc., and agricultural products, fertilizer, etc., to the U.S. and the European Union if they keep putting sanctions on Russia. April 4th, it was reported that some food prices, meat and butter, in Germany spiked 20 to 50% in one day. <coughs> April 6, it was reported that two Federal Reserve economists in Dallas warned that a global economic downturn will be unavoidable. I had mentioned this in a video. If access to oil, natural gas, fertilizer, <clears throat> and grain and other products from Russia is denied for the remainder of 2022, according to the to these economists, problems will appear in Latin America, Southeast Asia first, where people earn less money, but shortages will eventually spread to the U.S. There is a lot riding on how long the U.S. sanctions on Russia will last. And if not lifted soon, the U.S. will be impacted. Number five, concerning inflation and famine. March 29th, the president of BlackRock, the largest asset management company in the world, said for the first time this generation will go into a store and not be able to acquire what they want. On the same day, Bloomberg said the same products and services will cost the average American $5,200 dollars more in 2022 than in 2021. The same food will cost the average American about $2,200 more. Note, even though inflation is the highest it has been in 40 years around the middle of last month, Biden said his economic strategy is working. Oh, really? Number six, concerning the New World Order. On March 30th, Russia's Foreign Ministry Lavrov and Chinese Foreign Ministry Yi met and declared the two, that the two nations 
are working together to achieve a multi a multipolar fair and democratic world order. I did a couple videos on this. Russia and China are willing to support a world government dominated by them, but not a dictatorial world government dominated by the European Union and U.S. Note, the phrase multipolar, fair, and democratic world order could be defined as the distribution of power among leaders from several groups of nations in the Ten Kings. It means Russia and China believe too much of the New World Order's powers is in the hands of the European Union and U.S. Russia and China want to redistribute the power of the New World Order. Yes, folks, the rapture is here and it's going to happen sooner than what you think. Seven. <clears throat> Concerning the New World Order, March 29th and 30th, the annual World Government Summit was held in Dubai. And the first topic to be discussed this year is, are we, listen, are we ready for a New World Order? Dr. Pippa, Barry mentioned this woman yesterday in his thing. Uh, Malgram, economist and advisor to former President George W. Bush, Bush was talking about a digital currency when she said, it means having an almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us a fair, greater clarity over what's going on. Later that day, Klaus Schwab, founder of the World Economic Forum, delivered a keynote speech and said, the time has come for the world governments to unite as one and tackle global problems such as, you guessed it, climate change, trade and economic disruption, disruption without hindrance or delay. For your information, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, which shall divide, diver, uh, diverse from all kingdoms. It shall devour the whole earth and shall tread down and break it in pieces. Daniel 7.23 Daniel's vision of the evil, destructive governments, government that globalists are bringing in made him sick. Daniel uh, 7.28 According to John the Revelator, they will embrace the Antichrist, Satan worshiper, and their Messiah. Revelation 13, 4 through 7. Again, the church is in the way. I've been saying this for the past week now. <clears throat> Number eight. Concerning um, the New World Order, March 31st, former candidate uh, for President Ron Paul said the U.S. should get out of the U.N. and promote freedom instead of under, uh, undermining it. Number nine, concerning New World Order on Prophecy Teacher, John uh, Holler's prophecy update for April 3rd. Holler played a video of Klaus Schwab speaking at the Chicago Council of Global Affairs in 2019. Schwab defined the fourth industrial revolution as the fusion of our physical, digital, and biological identities. I'm not an authority on this, but it sounds to me like a plan to connect our physical, digital, and biological identities to a computer with one file on us so a world government can accurately verify and track everything about us. And it comes with the links here. Number 10, concerning the global, the coming uh, godless world religion. March 24th, Ukrainian President Zelensky was practically demanding that Hungarian Prime Minister Orban do two things. One, join the U European Union in sanctioning Russia with invading Ukraine. 
for invading Ukraine. Number two, send weapons to Ukraine. According to the report, Orban reviews Zelensky's request for two reasons. One, Orban believes it is in Hungary's interest to stay out of the war. Number two, Orban constantly opposes European Union policy because the European Union is trying to create a new Europe without a Christian identity. Sounds like the spirit of Antichrist is alive and well in the European Union. 11. Concerning the days of Lot, March 31st, the Biden administration published, endorsed child sex changes and the funding of many procedures, including surgery. It is another clear rejection of what the Bible teaches. 12. This is nothing compared to what's coming. And I think people are panicked because they see this and they think we have to be in the tribulation. We're not. And we won't be. The church is not destined for that. Number 12, concerning the tracking and buying and selling in the U.S. March 31st, U.S. Senator Elizabeth Pocahontas said it is time for the U.S. to create a central bank digital currency. It goes on to say here, are you rapture ready? You want to be rapture ready and go to heaven, you have to be born again. I just gave you that gospel. I'm going to link this in the description box. Again, we're not in the tribulation. You need to read your Bible and ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes. Like I said, if he did it for me, he'll do it for you. I'll be back later. Thank you.